so we've got the cotton in the nose, we've got the cotton in the mouth. I'm going to suture the mouth because the mouth will fall open if it's not if it's not sutured. Okay, so I've got my needle and my thread, and now I need my aneurysm hook. Okay, and what I would normally do is my aneurysm hook would be inside the mouth here and this needle would go into this part here, up into this area, through here, it would come out behind the teeth, where I would take that out. So we've got some thread out this side and thread out that side. What I would then do is go back in here, take the needle up through the front of the teeth and take the needle around out through the nostril, through the other side, out through this side, then down inside the mouth here. The needle would pop out here, where it'd have two pieces of the suture cord, would basically be sitting inside the mouth, like this. And then what happens then is when I tie it, that obviously pulls together and that closes the jaw. And I would knot that and that would be closed. And then any extra I would cut off and dispose of. And the face would sit exactly like it is now with this beautiful face here. So that's a basic face prep. So it's done. Okay, so we've dressed, We've. Uh, what happens is I would put a nappy on, normally a nappy. Um, would be on um, the deceased. So I'll put the nappy on and then I put the pants over the top, which we've already done. That's already done. Top on. And I am just going to demonstrate how I would put a top on without any assistance from my live model. going to put some makeup on which I would normally do for a deceased if it's requested by the family they want makeup put on um, I do have in my kit uh, mortuary makeup that I use but for the today I'm using uh, Renee's own makeup I won't be using the mortuary but it's exactly the same same principle same makeup um, I'll just show you what we do doing so a moisturizing cream has to be applied to everybody, um, every deceased, because once I've finished and returned them back to the fridge, they have to have um, a moisture on the face because otherwise they'll get fridge burn. And fridge burn, you probably know, if you put some meat in the freezer and you leave it there for months and months, you take it out, it has little brown burn marks on it and that's fridge burn and that's exactly what would happen in the fridge here. So moisturizer is always applied. So we're just going to do a basic um, uh, makeup, which is probably what we do on most people, unless requested. So it's just a soft, natural look. That's all we're going to do today. Now you've got to be careful with um, people that are slightly decomposed or starting to, because the skin can be very, very um, delicate. And if you're tugging away or pulling, you can actually cause skin slip, which basically means the top layer of the skin, the epidermis can slip off. Now, what I tend to do when I do makeup on um, a deceased is always use 
um, eyeshadows, but we use eyeshadows as trying to um, highlight parts of the eyes and the face. Um, it just makes them look more natural and peaceful. So it's slightly different to how you would normally wear your makeup every day. So if you can see, you actually really can't tell there's a lot of makeup on here and, and that's exactly what I want it to look like. I want it to look like the light, when the light hits, you've just got the shadows and the shape of the eyes and it just makes them look more peaceful. And if only it can be very still, I'm going to put some mascara on here and this is how I would do it myself. Just holding the eyelids up slightly. Lip gloss on here. Now normally when I put lipstick on, I use a lip brush. Um, I just don't have one for here and I'm not using my work one, so. There's the makeup, that's what it is. Very basic, but yeah, I think you'll agree, it looks really natural. A natural light will hit that when um, the deceased is lying in the coffin and the family are viewing, and usually that's all I want was soft and natural. It's actually quite interesting because you don't normally do makeup thinking that you won't have your eyes open. Yeah, it is different. So it's getting to know how you put makeup on with eyes closed all the time. Sometimes family request eyeliner underneath the eyes and things, which is really hard. So we don't use eye pencil because pencil needs heat. So I would just use um, eyeshadows, a darker color, just to um, uh, look like we've got pencil on there. Because um, when you use makeup, it works with heat. Um, most makeup works with heat. So we have to be slightly different here when we've got the, uh, the deceased on the table because they're usually cold out of the fridge. So that's the makeup done. All done, a quick hairdo for this lady and then she'll be ready for her coffin and her viewing. So I've just changed the head position from being flattered to raised up because now I'm going to uh, blow dry the hair. Now with this hair uh, I'm going to use my hands uh, to blow dry it. I'm not using the brushes that I use on everybody else. I know my live model will be happy with the way I do her hair however, well, she'll have to be happy, <laughs> won't she? <laughs> And I think um, my live model here has been an extremely good model and I uh, have to agree that, or I hope you agree guys, and you Trish behind the camera, who's just doing all the hard work here, not me, and, and Renee, the girls are doing a really good job and I have to say that, um, thank you, you did a wonderful job and I have to say she looks ready and lovely to go to the pub. Let's go to the pub. Shall we go to the pub? Yay! Thanks Trace. Thank Thanks, you. Trace. See you next time guys, like, subscribe, share with your friends, and the questions, oh my gosh, Trish, how many questions have oh, we had? Thousands, no, thousands. hundreds, but hundreds. they're very good, thanks yeah. guys. Yeah, they're very good, lots of questions, and um, lots of first timers coming on board, and the regulars, we have regulars, and welcome new people, and glad uh, the other ones are staying with us, and um, hopefully see you very soon, stay safe. Bye guys.